G'day, today I'm going to show you a method to instantly work out which is the largest out of two fractions. So let's have a look with an example here. We have two fractions, we have 6 over 11 and 5 over 9. Which is the largest of our two fractions here? Do you reckon you can work it out instantly? Well, I'll tell you what, see how good you are. I'll give you three seconds. Go. All right, time's up. How did you go? Did you work out that the biggest of our two fractions here is 5 over 9? If you did, congratulations, because that is the correct answer. But if not, don't worry. I'm going to show you right now how you can instantly work out which is the largest out of two fractions. And this, a couple of you will have seen before because it's quite commonly taught in schools. But how do we do this? It's really, really simple. We're going to start with our left-hand fraction here. We're going to start with the top number, the numerator. And we're going to multiply it by our right-hand fraction's denominator. So 6 times 9 equals 54. Now all we do is we do the opposite. We go to our right-hand fraction here with its numerator and multiply it by the left-hand fraction's denominator. 5 times 11 is 55. Now it's just a simple matter of comparing which one got the bigger result. And as you can see, 55 is bigger than 54. It means that this fraction here, 5 over 9, is larger than 6 over 11. So there you go, really simple, right? What about I give you a couple of these that you can try right now? So here's three examples that you can try. We have three fraction pairs, which is the largest out of each. So 10 over 13 and 3 over 4. We have 10 over 12 and 9 over 12 and 5 over 7 and 3 over 4. Pause the video and give these a go. And while you're at it, if you like this trick, give us a thumbs up. Now, I reckon you would have worked it out already though, even without pausing the video. What about we give these a bit of a look at? So we have our first set of fractions here. We have 10 over 13 and 3 over 4. So which is the biggest one? So let's work this out. 10 times 4 is equal to 40. And 13 times 3 is equal to 39. Well, 40 is bigger than 39. And that means that 10 over 13 is bigger than 3 quarters. Cool. Let's have a look at the next pair. We have 10 over 12 and 9 over 12. Now you should be able to do this instantly. You should see, because we have the same denominators, we don't need to actually really go through and work this out any further. We can see that 10 over 12 is bigger than 9 over 12. Pretty simple, but let's just do this just to prove it. So 10 times 12 is 120, and 12 times 9 is 108. 120 is bigger than 108, so yeah, it's worked. Finally, we have 5 over 7 and 3 quarters which is the biggest out of these. So let's just go through and do our cross multiplication. We have five times four, which is equal to 20, and seven times three, which is equal to 21. And that means that three quarters is bigger than five over seven. And we just write it in like that. So there you have it. Possibly one of the easiest tricks you'll ever learn in maths. If you like this trick, please remember, hit the like button and subscribe. As usual, a big shout out to my patrons, your continued support, I thank you. Anyway, see you next time.